Praise be to Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, welcome to Vajramrutham. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, 18 and 19, we read one interesting incident. In the morning, when Jesus was returning to the city, he was hungry. Seeing a fig tree by the roadside, he went to it. But there was no fruit but leaves. He said to it, May no fruit come from you up hereafter. And the fig tree withered at once. My dear brothers and sisters, it is very difficult to understand for we ordinary people why Jesus cursed that fig tree. And in the same incident, in the Gospel of Mark, we read, it was not the season of figs. If it was not the season of that uh, fruit, so why Jesus cursed? We don't see any logic in the action of Jesus. Once one Protestant pastor was preaching, he said, because of his pride, Jesus cursed. There was no fruit, but still, it was remaining as if full of fruits. So, pride, that was the reason. One sister told me, even Jesus could not bear with the hunger. Jesus was hungry and he could not bear, so he cursed. My dear brothers and sisters, Bible scholars say, it is not an incident, but it is a parable. In the gospel, it is written as an incident. He was traveling, he was journeying from Bethany to Jerusalem. But uh, here, it is not an incident, it is a parable. The parable says, trees in the kingdom of God should be always fruitful. We all are trees in the kingdom of God. We should be always fruitful. Psalm 92, 13 and 14 we read, They are planted in the house of the Lord. They flourish in the house of the whole God. Even in the old age, they still produce fruits. And they are always full of green and soft. You see, we all are planted in the house of the Lord. We all are trees planted in the house of the Lord and we should be fruitful always. God created us to be fruitful. If there is no fruit, here Jesus cursed. We should be fruitful always. So, we can see the difference between a worldly person and a, uh, the spiritual person. Worldly person, maybe at the age of 58 or 60, he becomes uh, retired. After the retirement, he has nothing to do and uh, pulling his life uh, one after another days. But for a spiritual person is concerned, no retirement, no VRS, no sick leave, nothing of that sort. Till his last breath, he has to produce mighty fruits. So, we are supposed to produce mighty fruits till our last breath. And how can we produce mighty fruits? That is John 15.5. Those who abide in me and abide, I abide in them, will produce mighty fruits. This is the secret of producing mighty fruits. Abide in the Lord. So my dear brothers and sisters, we are created to be fruitful. So whatever may be our condition, we may be sick, we may be old, no exception, till the last breath we had to produce mighty fruits. That is nothing, nothing else to do. Only abide in the Lord. When we abide in the Lord, we can produce mighty fruits. So every day, every moment, abide in the Lord and be fruitful like that. You may be blessed all through your life. For this I shall pray for you. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.